Dr. Christopher Fadi from Syracuse Orthopedic Specialists. I specialize in podiatric surgery and care of the foot and ankle. I am from Skinny Atlas, New York, uh, right outside Syracuse. I uh, did my undergraduate work at Lemoyne College, uh, and then I went on to Temple University School of Podiatric Medicine uh, for four years, uh, graduating with my uh, Doctor of Podiatric Medicine degree in 2008. Uh, my treatment philosophy is pretty simple. I, I, uh, I, I try to uh, sort of make believe that every patient I see is a friend or a family, mem family member and I uh, go forward with caring for them like I would someone who I know even though it may be the first time I've ever met them. My father's a physician. He has been in the, in the, in the community here for 30 years or so. Uh, I learned by watching him and uh, I knew from a young age I wanted to be a, wanted to be a doctor. Um, uh, I saw the, the great reward that uh, his life brought both inside and outside of the office and it was something I've always been interested in. I started from an early age following him on rounds in the hospital and uh, he would take me into the patient rooms and, and I thought it was pretty cool and uh, after that I got interested in science and uh, you know, it, really from there it's, it's been a blur but here I am today you know living my dream. I know I know I always wanted to be a doctor but I really didn't know if I wanted to do, you know, do hand that's what my dad was doing, some other, some other aspect of medicine. I became a podiatrist simply because I thought there was a need for, for, for foot care. It was a, a growing area of concern in a lot of people that were getting older. Uh, and there's a lot of different things that can go wrong with the foot. I see people in my rooms that range from a broken bone to the next, uh, next room just might be a consult on why my toenail looks a certain color. Uh, there, you never know what you're going to get from room to room, and I like that. Yeah, there was this really cool case I did a couple of years ago. Uh, I, I, uh, this girl had come to me in her late 20s, uh, fresh off surgery uh, somewhere else in Texas. They had just relocated due to her husband's job and uh, she had uh, lateral ankle pain and uh, I worked her up as best I could in the office and conservatively it ultimately didn't work for her and all she really wanted to do was get back to her uh, uh, walking her dog. and. and living a normal life as, as, as a 28, 29 year old. Uh, so actually what we did, and, and I told her I didn't know how well it was going to work, but I offered to, to take a cadaver tendon uh, that had been graciously donated by another family. And uh, we implanted it into her ankle to replace the one that was worn away. It ultimately didn't work with the first surgery. And, and now she's back to pain-free living, walking her dog, exercising. And, and, and I thought that was pretty cool. Outside of, uh, outside of uh, uh, medicine, I, I really enjoy, uh, I'd say my biggest hobby is ha hanging with my, my family, my, my wife and my daughter, and I have uh, two new daughters on the way. Uh, that's, that's the thing I look forward to the most at the end of each workday. Uh, other than that, I love golf. Uh, I can only play it about six months a year around here, but uh, that's my main, uh, those are my main two hobbies. I also like exercising, watching sports on TV, uh, I would say I'm pretty normal outside of work. Uh, what I like best about uh, being in Syracuse and being part of SOS in the, in the, in the, in the Syracuse community is that it's got a real small town feel to it. Uh, I feel like you know, a lot of people uh, know each other. There's not a lot of degrees of separation between you know, patients I see, workers within SOS, staff members, uh, and, I, and it really does create this sense of community because, uh, because it is so small and intimate. What made me choose SOS? Uh, it was pretty easy. Uh, at the time, you know, uh, when I came out of my residency in, in 2011, uh, there, there was a, a need for a foot doc here. And it was easy. It was my home. It was where my dad practiced. Just the, the chance to come back to Syracuse where there's, you know, four seasons, this sense of family, this small town feel, it really was an easy choice. Greatest reward to being a podiatric surgeon, I would say, is uh, when a patient comes in and tells me, Doc, I had a problem, and I don't have that problem anymore thanks to you, and I can't thank you enough. And it really, truly is the greatest feeling in the world, and it doesn't get old after six years of practice.